Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this wonderful Wednesday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life's good. Now, as I said before, and I'm going to remind you tomorrow, tomorrow will be the last video of the week. Friday and throughout the weekend, I'm going to my nephew's wedding in Long Island, and uh, we'll pick it up again on Monday. All right? Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Why do I stretch? Why do I tighten my corners? Guys, there's only one reason, okay? How you remedy that reason, a little different. But there's, it's simple, there's only one reason. Okay, let me honk a little bit. I practiced a lot. Hopefully it will sound good. We'll see what we got. Anyway, three octave, hellacious, scales up to uh, hellacious double Cs twice, complete and total relaxation, just move my fingers, and caress the baby, okay? Now, here's the deal. Why do I stretch? Why do I get tight? Ralph, why? why? Uh, you know, above a high F, I, I just goes automatically. What the heck is going on? Simple. Okay, number one, if you have a 1SB and you know this protocol, there is only one reason that you tighten up. Okay, how to remedy that one reason? It takes a little doing. Okay, but there's only one reason. Now, before we get into that. Guys, this is the only system that I'm referring to. It's the only mouthpiece that I'm referring to. I don't care what, this does not pertain to anything else. Guys, I don't want to get onto a whole Bach rant. But guys, you play a Bach mouthpiece, you have to stretch. You cannot play that unless you're doing the, the Mel Burrells and, and, and uh, Herseth stuff on Mount Vernon box. You have to stretch. That's just all there is to it. Okay, so this is just about a 1SB and this protocol. So if you are playing a 1SB and you're still stretching, whichever the case may be, you still get tight, okay? One reason, you've lost your compression. Case closed. You have lost your compression. This, completely relaxed. I've done this before. How, what other player can literally have some of myself pull on their chops and it doesn't affect their buzz one bit? Okay? I can't do that with the trumpet because it'd be bouncing around too much with the mouthpiece. All right? Now, this, even though this is relaxed, guys, this is very, very firm. Now, case closed. Case in point. I'm going to do the same, th the opposite thing with this. I'm going to try to pull it apart. It's almost impossible. That's how firm it is. But, guys, it's like this. This is what I'm doing pressing against those two lips, okay? If I got one guy on this arm and the other guy on this arm and they tried to pull it apart, they'd be hard-pressed to do it. 
This is tension. It's a completely different thing. Now, I've told you that story about Adolf Scherbaum. Somehow he got the compression inside his mouth calibrated to that of an automobile tire. Okay? I'm not sure if even I believe the automobile tire stuff. It, it makes for a great story for true power, but I don't know. So let's just say it's not an automobile tire, but let's just say there's a whole lot of compression going on inside his mouth and Maynard's mouth and Horace Fister's mouth and Faddis's mouth, okay? A whole lot of it. Guys, you are not going to create and, and control that type of compression with completely floppy lips. You're not going to do it. When I talk about my pitchers, I say we're trying to stay relaxed, blah, 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 blah. But guys, if they go to an ashram, okay, and take some yogi that turns himself into a pretzel and you bring him down the ball field, he's not going to be able to throw 100 miles an hour. He's not compressed. He doesn't have innate strength. I mean, there's more to it than that. Guys, this has to be firm. It has to be to create that compression. Okay, so let's just say this is all relaxed and that's firm. What happens? Guys, the tongue has to have gone back. It has to. Otherwise, it's locked in there. This isn't going anywhere. <laughs> you can't pull it apart it's not going anywhere it's locked in okay now why does this go back usually it's tension it's tension you're tightening up which leads to the tight corners and let's go the other one is overblowing guys as I said before it is much easier to control a little sliver of air than a tornado. It's as simple as that. Now, can you play tight? Not on a 1SB, you can't. You might get away, away with it every now for a note here, a note there, but guys, that is the beauty, and some guys say, the curse of the 1SB. I just think it's fantastic, because what happens when you start to tighten, the mouthpiece shuts you off. You can't play tight. You just can't. It has to be relaxed. So that, again, guys get frustrated with it because their Bach mouthpiece lets them stretch and tighten and they can play forever. This doesn't. Well, I can't play it. Well, you can. You're not playing correctly. You're losing your compression. And that compression, guys, is the whole thing. The tongue controls it. The tongue control compression. I told you before, I don't like to say tongue controlled embouchure because that means a, a mythological way that Jerry played 25 years ago that some people are promoting and it's not the Jerry method. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. I'll, I'll say that, okay? But anyway, tongue control compression. I can't pull it apart, all right? You're losing compression. That is it. How do you negate that? Blow less and make sure this is thicker. And don't be afraid to keep it firm. But this, that firm, that's not firm. As I said before, I've done this before. Lock it in and try to make your tongue thicker as you go higher. Easy, right? Stretch. Try to like make the tongue thicker. You can't even you can't even get a grip. And that with the one SB will shut off. All right, guys. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power, not the fake stuff. True power. Love you all.